Hello, my name is Charles Bowman, and I'd like to, like to talk to you today about the research our lab is doing in the area of computational imaging and uh, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. So computational imaging is an area which I think has become, you know, fairly popular in the last few years, but it's been around for quite a long time. And the idea is this, that you have some image you'd like to sense and you have a sensor, but then you need to take the data out of that sensor and use the algorithms and computation to turn it into an actual reconstructed image. So uh, there are a, a wide range of applications for computational imaging. One of the most uh, widely known is, comp uh, is uh, computed tomography, or, uh, what's often called CT or sometimes CAT. And uh, we developed algorithms that are used by uh, General Electric Healthcare and uh, for reconstruction of images based on a thing that we invented called model-based iterative reconstruction. And this shows an example of how you have a reconstruction using model-based iterative reconstruction and how it's superior to traditional reconstruction methods because it exploits the information and the data more fully. Uh, uh, we do a lot of work also in scientific imaging. So this is an example of where we had the first images of uh, dendritic growth of aluminum uh, which is important in material science applications. This was done at uh, the advanced photon source at the uh, Largon National Laboratory. And we will collect these images using sort of special methods in which we interlace the images acquisition and then use it iterative reconstruction to do the reconstruction. One of the more recent methods that we've really been exploiting and uh, sort of uh, invented really is the method called plug and play in which you is a way of integrating together in a mathematical framework, physics-based sensor design with uh, AI methods like convolutional net neural networks. So the convolutional neural networks are used to model the behavior of images and you have the traditional physics model for the sensor. And then it's an iterative algorithm where you bounce back and forth and converge to a solution which satisfies both sets of constraints. So this is an application in imaging through turbulence which is of wide interest. Uh, and uh, you use a laser to illuminate a target. And then uh, the, the image that comes back is blurry and noisy, but by using this uh, plug and play framework, you can integrate in CNNs to model the image and get a much uh, better reconstruction than you would using traditional methods. Uh, another sort of notable uh, application of plug and play is in the S Samsung Galaxy line of phones in which they use a through the sensor, a through the screen sensor for fingerprint detection. And this method, this, uh, this feature actually uses a plug and play method to do a reconstruction of fingerprint so you can get accurate uh, fingerprint detection. So if you're more, if you think you're interested in this, visit my website and uh, we hope to see you in the fall. Thanks. Bye.